Now your workshop is going to be conducted using Microsoft Teams. So you need to have a webcam and a microphone and be in a quiet location so that you can engage with your tutor and your tutor will take you through doing the activities. Uh, you may also be sharing your screen at various times, showing your tutor what you, and your classmates what you're doing with the online simulation. So get yourself prepared. You can, um, there's a online tutorial about how to use Microsoft Teams and you can also practice it and make sure it's working beforehand so that you have a nice seamless um, online workshop. Now, what are you going to do in the workshop? So, you'll be using a simulator of some Bebot robots. Now, Bebot robots are commonly used with young children to teach them various concepts around digital technologies. Now, we're also going to be using it to look at some concepts to do with designer technology, about how the motors might work to make it turn left or turn right and things of that nature. So you need to think through some of these things in your own head if you don't have these physical devices to look at. But I have provided you with some video clips so you can look at those and see how the physical devices work. And you'll be engaging with the virtual um, simulation of the B-Bots. Now there'll be a series of different mats that set up various contexts. So it might be moving the robot around a town or around an island or along a number line. Um, we're not so much interested in the context in terms of technologies education although it can certainly be useful in making cross-curriculum um, links with other subject areas, such as um, looking at a story and telling a story by having the robot move around a storytelling mat or a number line or a scientific experiment and using the B-Bot to move around and explain various aspects, say, of um, uh, the weather cycle. So there are various ways we can utilise this as a digital literacy ICT for other learning areas. But for technologies education, you will find what the students need to learn from the curriculum documents and from the content descriptors. They define what the purpose of the lesson is or purpose of the activity is. It's not to teach them how to use B-Bots or an online simulation of a B-Bot. It's about learning various concepts to do with algorithms and following sequences of instructions. Um, and for design and technology to be around various aspects of motion and movement and, and motors and wheels and things like that. So you need to be able to find in the curriculum documents where those content descriptors relate to the activity um, and unpack how that is going to be achieved through the activity. And ideally how we would achieve other aspects of the curriculum, such as the thinking skills or the general capabilities or cross curriculum priorities. We'll discuss more about that in later weeks, but for now, focus on the content descriptors and be able to see how this activity is about students achieving the content descriptors, not about how to learn about moving a digital B-Bot around a mat. That's not what they're learning. That's the mechanism we're using to learn the concepts that are described in the curriculum. Okay, so Familiarize yourself with the um, simulator before your workshop. Make sure you've got Teams working and the webcam and your microphone are all working so that you can interact with your tutor. And you'll then be able to engage with your um, the activities as guided by your tutor. And you'll provide some evidence of your um, activities and your solutions to various B-Bot activities. And you can do that by creating screenshots. If you don't know how to do a screenshot, um, do a little Google search and find out how to do a screenshot with either PC or Mac, or whatever else you might be using. But take a, a capture an image of what's on your screen and you'll submit that as evidence of you having done an activity. The final um, element that you need to provide evidence of for your log of learning is a reflection on what you have learnt, what you've learnt in the workshop and what you've learnt through engagement with the course material during the week. And you'll submit that as your fifth item of your log of learning for the week. So that's it. And I hope you enjoy your first online workshop.